I versus T plot for RC circuits in case of charging. So let us say we have a RC circuit. It contains a register, a capacitor in series by a battery of EMF xi. So we know current as a function of time is given by I naught e to the power minus T by RC and where I naught has a value of xi by R e to the power minus T by RC. So we have I that is xi by R e to the power minus T by RC. I am interested in I versus T plot. So let us find current for different time. So when T is equals to 0, current is given by e to the power 0 because time is 0. So e to the power 0 is 1. So this is I by R. Now let us say after one time constant that is after time RC we will have xi by R e to the power minus RC and this divided by RC so we will have e to the power minus 1 1 by E and this is the value of 0 0.371 xi by r. Similarly we can find for two time constant and this becomes i is equals to xi by r e to the power minus 2rc divided by rc that is e to the power 2 1 by e square and value comes out to be 0 0.14 xi by r. We can also calculate for 3 time constant and similarly this will come out to be xi by r and this is 1 by e, 1 by e a square, then this has to be 1 by e q and you can see from here when t is 3 rc, so this is g to the power minus 3 that is 1 by e q and this value is 0 0.05 xi by r. Another case when time goes to infinite i goes to because e to the power minus infinity so this term becomes 0 so i goes to 0. So these are the important point we have times 0 current is xi by r. You see in one time constant current reduces to 37 percent of the original current. So there is a reduction of 63 percent. Now in the second time constant it has reduced to 14 percent. So in first case there is a more loss of current. In the second case there is less loss of current. In the third case this is only 5 percent of the initial current. So we can plot a graph. So we have different time t is equals to 0 current is xi by r when t is equals to rc current is 37 percent of xi by r to rc current is 14 percent when time is 3 rc 
this is only 5 percent and when time goes to infinite current goes to zero so let us say we have a plot on the y axis we are plotting current on the x axis we are plotting time so when t is equals to 0 that is this time current is xi by r and let us say this time is rc this is 2 rc and this time is let us say 3 rc when we have zero time current is xi by r rc time 37 percent so let us say this value that is 0 0.37 of xi by r when 2 rc only 14 percent So now we have this point and 3 RC only 5 percent. So this point, so this value is 0 0.14 xi by r and this value is 0 0.05 xi by r. Now if we add all these points we can have an asymptotic graph and this will reach to t is equals to infinite current will basically touch to the x axis so graph is asymptotic in nature important point you see in the first time constant there is more loss of current in the second time constant there is even less and in the third even more less so you see rate of loss of current is initially high so I can say rate of loss of current and this can be seen from the tangent also tangent of this curve will give you di by dt that is rate of loss of current so initially you have slope is more steep so you have slope values higher slowly slowly slope becomes lesser steep so you see here slope is more steep even lesser even lesser and finally slope is zero so that is very less slope so slope is decreasing and the slope is negative because any tangent will make angle 90 degree more than 90 degree so slope is negative so that's why decreasing so rate of loss of current is initially high and slowly slowly rate of loss of current is decreasing so this is a curve in case of charging of capacitor and through register.